in the last section, we generated a new project. I'm now going to change into that new project directory, and then I'll start up my React server inside there with npm start. All right, so there we go. We've now got a fresh React application up and running. together a single component and we're going to write out all of the different JSX we need inside there to make these three different comments all in one go. So I'm going to flip back over to my code editor and inside of my SRC directory, I'm going to create a new file called index.js like so. Then at the top of this file, we'll put in a little bit of familiar code. So I'll say import react from react. I'll do import react DOM from react dash DOM. I'll then make a new app component. And inside there for right now, I'll return a simple div that says hi there. And then finally at the bottom of the file, I'll do react dom.render. I'll say I want to render an instance of my app component, and I want to render it into document.query selector. And I'm going to find that same div with an ID of root, like so. All right, so the code that you see right here is what we just wrote into our last project. And writing all this stuff out is going to become second nature for you very quickly. So if it seems tedious to write this all out right now, don't sweat it. You're going to get so much practice writing this. All right, so I'm going to save this file, and then we should be able to flip back over to our browser and see the text hi there appear on the screen. Okay, so that looks good. So now we need to start replacing the simple div that we have inside of here with the list of comments instead. Now I'm going to be honest with you, this is not really a course about basic styling and CSS and stuff like that. We are going to talk at great length about how to integrate CSS in different forms into a React project, but we're not going to spend a tremendous amount of time writing out CSS from scratch. So what does that mean? Well, basically, when I looked at this list of blog comments right here, there are semantic-ui.com. And I'll throw that into my code editor right here so you can see it very plainly. Okay, semantic UI is an open source styling or CSS framework. You can click on this menu button on the top left hand side and then scroll through all of these different elements that are provided for you. You can click on any of them and take a look at some of the default styling that you get if you make use of this semantic UI library. Now this library is a simple CSS file. By default, you don't have to install any JavaScript or any React related stuff whatsoever. It's just a CSS file that's going to give us a little bit like so. So if we make use of semantic UI, we can essentially get all the styling that we need for free without having to waste a lot of time on it. So with that in mind, let's install semantic UI. Now, unfortunately, the getting started documentation here is not the clearest thing in the world. Their getting started documentation on semantic UI docs, it tells you how to kind of put all this stuff together from scratch using build tools. Now we could definitely go down this path, but there's definitely a much easier way for us to install this. If you open up a new browser tab, you can search for semantic UI CDN. And I'll put this search term again inside my code editor just so you can see it very plainly. Semantic UI CDN. And then the first link that you'll see right
inside of our project. So I'm going to click copy over here for the min.css file. And then I'll hook that thing up inside of the HTML file that is currently used for our project, which you'll recall is inside of that public directory. So inside of public, I'll find index.html. And then we're going to add this new CSS file into our head tag as we would any other CSS file. So after the meta tag right here, this looks like a reasonable place. I'll put in link rel equals style sheet and then href equals and then I'll paste in the link that I just copied from that CDN page. And I'll make sure that on the right hand side, I close off that tag like so. Okay, so that looks good. So I'm not going to save this file. And then if I go back over to my browser and find localhost 3000, we should see that the page has automatically refreshed. And you'll know that semantic UI has been loaded up properly if you see that the text font right here has changed slightly. Mine definitely has, so I know that Symantec is installed correctly. Another way that you can make sure that it got installed would be to right-click anywhere on the page, open up your Chrome Inspect menu, then go to the Sources tab, or excuse me, not the Sources tab, but the Network tab. You can then click on this CSS option right here, refresh the page, and you'll see that Symantec min CSS got loaded up successfully. Okay, so now that we've got this styling library for free, let's take a quick pause. We'll come back to the next section and start putting together this list of comments.